me. Awkward. Let's get back into this. Turn that up. Yeah. We got evil drug peddling people to take out. And we got to vote for Clue. Or Clug. Or something. Alright, we got a lot of stuff. We got four guns. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, what he said. And we got a jetpack. So let's go. I guess let's go fuck around for a minute. Yo, bounty hunter, come hey. see what I've got in stock on hey. the food menu. Hey, you shush. You shush. Hello, bounty hunter. Welcome to Mr. Keeps. Thanks. What do you got? Jetpack. I can't afford. Oh, I'm poor as hell. Shoot. I need to go find some treasure. Thank God. I was scared you were gonna buy something. Watch it, why That's don't rude. You? Hey. Don't touch me. Back up. Kill some drug dealers. Before they turn me into drugs. All right, what's down here? It looks like death. It says danger. How danger? Wait, what's it say? Sandworms? Poisonous saliva? I'm okay, curious. That. What? Oh, what is that? Whoa! Stay away from the danger, the danger noodle baby. I look for some chests. Fuck, that's big. Let's see what these things are. What do we got? We got Cutie Town Warp, Movie Theater, the Trolley Tracks. Right, let's see what the Movie Theater one's about. I want their one-time uses. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Can I go in? Yeah. Oh, hey, a movie starting. You know, we deserve a break. L let's watch. Is let's that literally? And watch. Is that it's literally starting. what this is? Where can I sit down? I can literally sit down and watch this. All right, nice and comfy. So guys, what are we watching today? I don't know. It's just a black screen right now. Oh. But I'm I'm very uh, very anxious. What does it say, Rich? It says. Are those guys really gonna just talk the whole time? <laughs> demon wind. Oh, I can hear wind. That's the demon wind. Okay, no, I keep it. All right, what's what's this one? I like a little town. Holy shit, is that, is that some sort of miniature town? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Cutie, and it's my girl. Oh, fantastic. You've decided to take a look around little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see. Is that a nuclear facility? Cutie Town has to offer. Oh, God. It's going to let me. Yeah, yep. We got power plant, a nuclear power plant. Totally safe, by the way, until you came and triggered a nuclear reaction. It just wiped out an entire neighborhood. Hundreds of happy families dead. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 don't oh no, you're destroying everything! Oh my god, you're so big! I, I didn't I didn't I am oh, Godzilla. You just crushed our hospital. We have a state-of-the-art healthcare program here. A little cutie town where everyone gets treated for free. That hospital was full of sick people in need, and now we're all dead. Oh my god, this is this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I hate seeing Okay, that's it. That's my whole my whole town. My whole little cutie town's ruined. You ruined the whole city and all my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive, and I am going to kill myself. I, but if you if you let me Ooh, uh yeah, I don't I th that's on them, right? For not doing them, you know? Think that's about on it. them. Alright, okay, so I do keep them. Alright, what's this one do then? Alright, 
Oh my god, it's one of these things. Oh, thank god you showed up. This trolley is gonna crush all five of us. You need to pull that lever so the trolley will switch tracks. That's the only way we'll survive. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Don't pull that lever if you switch the tracks. I'll die instead of them. Right, but that way only one person will die. It's not ideal, but it's better than five people dying. I know I'd personally rather only one person die than five, but that's just me. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Okay, you there watching us. You stumbled onto this trolley situation, and, and those five people were already going to die whether you intervened or not. It's out of your hands, right? But if you pull that lever, you are actively going to kill me. You'll be making an active choice to murder me. Tell them to die. Or I could wait oh, for you to on, be that's dead. Oh, shit, the trolley? Okay, enough. The trolley's almost here. What's it going to be? Uh, not to be that guy, but we only have a few more seconds. You got to make your choice fast. Hey, this is already happening before I warped it in, so... Oh, wow, I can't believe I get to live! This is for the best. I was totally gonna do more genocides if I survived. <laughs> <laughs> I was a really super smart scientist that was about to cure a bunch of deadly diseases, oh wow. Hey, I just wanna let you know, I don't blame you. This is a tough decision, buddy. Oh, fuck! Well, jeez, I mean, that, that, that was rough. I, 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 I honestly think you might have made the, the wrong choice here. Maybe I should have just sacrificed myself to let everyone else live. I'm just going to hang out here and process everything for a bit, if that's, if, that, if that's cool with you. Hey, Fat Finger Floaty's my name, and Trungle Funk's my game! Trungle Funk? Oh, you look confused. But I can tell you want to hear my sweet flute tunes. Am I right or am I right? You're Close right. Your ears and clean your ears. It's trungle funk flute time. This is trungle funk. Damn, I guess I love trungle funk. I don't know what's going on. That's gonna be the end of the video clip right there. Whatever this guy is doing. Alright, that's enough of that. We spent enough time goofing off, I guess. Let's go back. Alright. I just thought maybe my mom and dad would be with you. Yeah, Alright. Dr. Giblets. Well, I told her I'd be here before the end of this week. G3 head of okay. R&D, responsible for developing warp-based technology. He's possibly the brightest mind amongst the G3 ranks. However, he's a bit of a hermit, so he generally remains off-grid, rarely leaving his warp-based laboratory. Let's do it. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Nah, I'm enough firepower by myself. I mean, you could even ditch the other guns and just use me and we would still win. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Another living Gatlian? Really? That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. What? You're asking us to find him? How? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But we'll pick up your slack. All right, <laughs> skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey, 
there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. Detective I'm still here. mode. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Why, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. All right. What about you? I've never seen you before. You've got a pink outline when I scan you. That's hey, suspicious. Uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. We just did. What were you doing last night? Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Who? Who are you? Hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck well, you got a I fucking have attitude. any ties to the G3? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, fucking bummer. die. A tough cookie. But they were telling the truth, according ah. to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Are they all going to look like this? Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But, uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so, uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Uh, it's Shh, nighttime. Hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Ah. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay. What's going on over there? That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. What's up, my dude? Hey, what's up, Blurdo? You know anything about a, a, where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something. I'll beat it, Buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm going to kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detective. That was an oh, S-rank interrogation. Of horny geriatrics. 
Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone, get him! Oh, fucking goddamn it! Oh! God. Huh? Guess we're back in business, boys. Actually, where'd he go? Nerds. Take that, you air freak. We're not scared of you or the G3. You don't want us sniffing around? Then do something about it. Oh, wait. I guess you tried that. Come on, let's find high on life. Humies. Store. I thought we were the high on life store. I can scream. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't. What are you doing? Adapter. High on life store number seven nine two three. Your local hyperbong superstore. Hyperbong. No traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Ooh. High on life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Oh. 
I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? A drop proof case? Love it. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Oh. Nice cops. day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please just fuck off. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell Whoa, was what that? Whoa, the... yes, just disappeared. All right. I was going to stab him, but whatever. Get out of my way! Hey! Back up! Six feet! Where's your mask? Start stabbing people. Jesus Christ. Alright. Are you still peeing? I assume that's what he's doing. Holy shit! What, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad. But he's got oh. some on. One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh! You can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals. Oh, mag boots. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can totally take Oh, that's what boots. those are for. Okay, look. I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are going to be very useful and and they're the only way out of here. Hey, sick moon. You making good use of those mag boots. Using those things way Oh shit. Where? Yeah, took hold red. Back up. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? No worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. <laughs> We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? All right. This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say something. How do they know who that is? Maybe hypothetically, 
The name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, hey, hey. I can't Jesus. officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Whoa, it looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the what? Way. Oh. Alright. One of the bugs killed him. Where's that one going? Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God. So Jesus I'm Christ. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh. I should probably just kill you. Oh my God, what, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh my God, it was probably Dr. Giblets. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Hey. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, huh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Hmm, <clears throat> a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're full of combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense, everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time, I mean look at you, that's what you're doing. Paperwork! Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, Suda! Oh, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. 
going Listen, on with this guy? Experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Oh, drugs. These must be old hyperbomb prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. John Giblets. A lot of second place trophies. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. What is that? Oh shit, that's a G Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's going to happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Oh. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was, was like, we are. That's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Oh, there he is. Dr. John gives his PhD. I think that's Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Really? Dr. Giblets status report. No life cells detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello, if you are hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come, and I was prepared for this moment. Now, see, you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Okay, shit yes. We do get to fight. Everyone calls me crazy. But look at me now. I'm dead, and you're trapped in here, folks. Great. My son, Crimothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? I know who killed me now. It was you, Krubus. Didn't he know we were coming? Jake, yes! I kind of respect how many messages he had to record. Bugs. Predictable. 
Your relentless party habits always landed you in hot water with Garmantuous. Perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing his prize scientist, me! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! The guy was shaking his butt at me. It was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me. What is going on with this? Photographs. Well, too bad. I rigged my computer to post them all over the internet the second my heart stopped beating. But don't worry, they were really hot. So everyone will think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, great, good work. Wanna go to Applebee's? Still <laughs> It could only have been you! How moronic of me to assume otherwise! You're the most obvious suspect. Nipulon! Who's Nipulon? Nipulon? He's the second in command! Whoa. Nipulon! You've been here from the start. Garmantuous's favorite right-hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. You wanted them all for yourself. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than again. I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians. But now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? I go in here now? Yay! Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know what? We, we, we should probably grab that Gatlian, you know? Is, is he even alive? You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene Jesus knows Christ. he can fix, get him all fixed up. Oh, yeah. The like, guy's yeah, just been sitting on our couch for a month. I just wanted to say, you know, that. Today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye! Oh, thank God! Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus, you find that detective mode, you shut it the fuck off! Never again, okay? I'm serious! Delete it, J delete it! And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission, it'll be a whole DLC mission! Every ah! last peso we've ever earned, we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit! You know, a whole DLC story about it, that, that we'll charge $45 for, and it'll only be like an hour of content, because fuck you! You bitch! No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We're not gonna do that. All right. Okay. Back to Gene. Oh, look at that! You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over. Let's bow wow. 
Okay, okay uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not going to promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. It would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if it can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be... Uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but... Uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay. Give me that money. Okay. Come on over. Let me give you the news. All right. What do you got for us, Gene? All right. Which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? <laughs> give me that good news. All right. Well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. It's only worse news. Just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I are best pals. Me, just like it was meant to be. Just like old times, the two of us alone needing each other. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Don't Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the phone. Why? Hey, bounty hunter, let's Why? Find and let's find your sister. Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Oh, God. Cat magazine. Jugs, but it's like, like a jug you put water in. Not the other jokes. That's funny. Okay, I guess I'll sit down. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Oh, he can move without me? That's cool. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Sure. Oh, okay, thanks. You know, it's just... You know, it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. You, you, you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm going to be your waiter for the uh -oh. day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Yeah, give me that long aisle. Okay, sure thing. I'm going to go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, Bounty Hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. 
That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew. You know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. He's got I know. the worst thinking timing. For an appetizer? Uh, it's, it's kind of Long Island, is that? We're in the that? middle of something, please. Give me some of that Great. chicken and it's come right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but where, where were we? Okay. Oh, I drank right. that? Um, no. Obviously, a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers. And, well, you know, that led us to the G3. And Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me. You know, a talking gun with endless firepower. And, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was. You know, I, I really do. But at the time, I couldn't tell. You know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. Oh, what have we got? Give me that. Give you me that betcha. Sirloin. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So. I led the G3 right to Getless. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. Not that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. But my food. That's bullshit. I'm not paying that. Oh shit! Yeah, we I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh fuck! Okay, this 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 changes shit. This is bad. What the? I'm here live in downtown Blim City, where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Fuckerton, Blim City News. What? Stay safe out there. Why can't I get the thing? Get to the house! Come on, you gotta get to the fucking house! Surprised to see me, bounty hunter? <laughs> you fuck with the wrong class, didn't it? It's all over. Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me kill you. Nice and easy. We know everything nah, I'm about good. you, and we still have two oh so special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Oh, shut sightsee. up, you. You know, now's the perfect time to sightsee. Oh, there's a like dead guy here. Seen it. Enough of this fucking city already. It's been. We had to let Jean use us. Thanks for coming back for me. I didn't deserve your help. It's not your fault. Well, no, you don't fuck that. It is your fault. You fucked up enormously, but we'll deal with that later. Please, fire up the warp core. We're leaving. What's the plan? Yeah, the warp's ready, but... 
plan can we go with? A G315? I'll handle that! Can you pull off the Hennison maneuver mid-warp to juke them? Can I what? Did you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yeah, scramble the warp! Bounty Hunter, bring him into the warp core! Things are getting intense! Gee, listen carefully and enter these exact coordinates! A6213 Case X dash W W capital both C four uh, five six seven factors capital uh, five eight nine two dash one seven four two 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 six five three four four. Fuck dash, these are long coordinates. Eight, nine, this is like fuck, no one types uh, space coordinates seven, in manually. Fuck it. Five five five. That's right. Of uh, the four three dash two one one eight okay. seven Got four. It. Scramble time. And here we go. Whoa, where are we going? Fuck, that was close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D did, did we make it? Yeah, we're safe. Nobody on our tail, but, uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? All right, let's see what's outside. Is this Gatlas? Welcome to Gatlas, yep. my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? All right. Well, we'll, we'll stop there and uh, we'll I guess regroup regroup with Gene in a second right, on this. I don't need an answer. God, Craig. yes, creature. It, it was our Christ. home, and it got all fucked up. We're, we're, we're trying not to think about it too much. Got it. Thank you. Well, it looks like shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, this has been fun uh, and exciting. Ooh. Stiff. All right. <sighs> Thanks for watching. This looks depressing. Uh, oh. oh, thank God. The fucking made it uninhabitable out there, you know? Okay, so I guess we'll be hiding out on a planet that G3 can live on to, so. Alright. Well, this has been fun. Until next time. Bye bye.